Hello, friends, and welcome to a lesson on the large bead frame. Now, uh, I have a real Montessori large bead frame here, but you might not. Now, I'm going to use this one in the lesson, but let me show you about the possibilities of what you can do. Here's one that was made from the template on the drive. Just a matter of pasting it to a box, using a hole puncher to get the holes, um, cutting out the center, standing it up, and then adding some string and beads. And I didn't have the right colors, but I still was able to come up with a pretty similar pattern that works pretty well. This one was made just out of cardboard and wire. It works quite well. Listen to those beads just going back and forth. But, um, some pretty funky colors, green, black, and pink. Yeah. Whatever type of bead frame you choose to either have or make, um, you're going to want to get your bead frame ready and make sure everything is lined up and ready to go. Now, with our bead frame, we also have bead frame paper, which helps us uh, translate what's happening on the bead frame and put it on paper. And we can also go through the, uh, the families, the simple family, which includes the units, tens and hundreds, the thousands family, which includes the units of thousands, the tens of thousands, and the hundreds of thousands. And then, of course, the millions are down below. You can't see them so well at the moment. All right. Um, when the beads are on the left side, they're in storage or in the bank. When we actually start to move the numbers to the right is when they start to occur. There's four and five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh no, what do I do? Well, you may remember from other materials like the stamp game that when we have something filled up with ten like this, we have a new group. This bead is also worth 10. So if we exchange this back, we can take that 10 and continue on our way 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Uh-oh, we've done it again. But we can just exchange, and there's 20, and 2, and 0. And if we write that on our paper, it'll look exactly like 20. Of course, we're going to write the numbers right in the right category. That's a lot of rights. We take that two and we're going to put it right on the blue wire as if it's the beads themselves and there's nothing there. And that number is zero. When we take a look at what the number looks like, we can plainly see what looks like a 20. It's magic. Well, if you're interested in using this on an operation, there's three videos that you can use to explore uh, the different operations that you can do on the bead frame. There's addition, subtraction, and multiplication. So why don't you go check one out?